If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Thursday, February 7th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. The Colorado State High School Swimming and Diving Championships take place this weekend. And while the big news will likely be centered around Missy Franklin and her final high school meet, the Fossil Ridge girls team is looking to make news of their own with a repeat state team title in the 5A division. Joining me today in the Finis Monitor are head coach Caroline Fries, senior sprinter Rihanna Williams, and assistant coach Mark Morehouse. Guys, good to see you. How are you today? Good. Thank you. Great. Good. So uh, the big meet's almost here. You guys must be just brimming with excitement. We're pretty excited. The girls have been waiting for this for the past 12 months, so they're ready to go. Yeah, I can't imagine that um, the excitement level from last year of winning that state title over Cherry Creek by a point ever diminished. Is that right? No, our, our whole school has been behind us the whole time and just, just waiting for this weekend to get here. So, um, Mark, tell me, you guys, as I said, you beat Cherry Creek by a point last year. How did you guys manage to pull that off? Uh, you know, um, we honestly, we, we swam out of our minds, and we talked to our girls a lot about putting ourselves in a position to be successful in the importance of swimming fast in prelims. And we had, uh, you know, all the kids that we expected to swim well in prelims swam great last year. And then we had, we had some performances from kids who, who were not seated in the top 16 uh, that had the best swims of their lives and put themselves in a position, you know, at going into the finals to help us help score. Um, like, for example, we had a girl in the 50 free who was seated 32nd, and she went into final seated 12th. You know, and so that was, she didn't even make the qualifying time until the weekend before. Um, so we really talk a lot about opportunity and, and just kind of seizing that opportunity and, and uh, giving ourselves a chance to be successful. Well, this seems to be, I know this is something that every coach talks about, getting their swimmers excited for the big championship meet. But going into this, Caroline, Caroline last year, was, was the talk not just about swimming your fastest, but that there might be a chance that you guys would win the state title? We, we thought at the beginning of the season last year that, that we would have a shot. Um, and then once we got the psych sheets, that it kind of became more real. And so we talked to the girls. Um, you know, no one really knew who we were last year because this, this year is our third year in 5A. So going into the meet last year, we were still kind of under the radar. Missy Franklin was a pretty big deal still. And um, we knew we had a shot. And, and like Mark said, we talked to the girls about you have to get it done on Friday in prelims, and, and they did it and, and pulled it off. Rihanna, you were a big part of that. You won the 50 and the 100 freestyle last year, and you're also um, the defending champion in those events. What was it like last year to hold that championship trophy? Oh, it was so exciting. I, I don't know. I didn't believe that we could actually do it till we were at the meet, and they're announcing points, and we're going back and forth with Cherry Creek, and it was just really exciting. And came down the last relay, so I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so now you guys have the target on your back. You're the ones that everybody wants to beat. Uh, Mark, what's the outlook for this year? Uh, you know, I, honestly, it's going to be a lot like last year. I'd say there's, there's maybe four or five teams that really have uh, the depth on their team to have a chance. Um, it's going to be tight. It's going to be really exciting. And it's going to be exactly the same in, in, I think, any championship meet where wh whichever team comes in, and really uh, has people on their team that swim beyond their ability level and do something special. That's going to be who's, who's kind of got a chance at the end. And Rihanna, this is your last season in high school. And as I said, you're the defending champion in the 50 and the 100. Looking at the psych, the psych sheets, it doesn't look like you're going to have an easy battle. You know, 50s and 100s aren't always going to be, you know, winning by a body length. Um, what are your expectations going into the meet this weekend? Um, my goal is just to get as many points as I can for the team. Um, I want to go fast times, but I'm just going to try to touch girls out and get as many points as I can. Carolyn, okay. uh, is there anybody besides Rihanna that we should be looking out for for uh, possible state titles? 
Uh, Bailey Miro won the 100 fly last year. She's seated second right now. Um, so she's got a good shot. And she'll be, she'll be up against everybody in the um, 200 IM. And Sammy Gay will be in the 200 IM and the 100 breast. And, and those, those both should be pretty fast races. One of the other big things for us is trying to have all three relays swim fast. And, and we think we've got a chance in all three relays. And that's really, you know, in a, in a team championship meet, relay points are crucial. So that's going to be a big part of the meet for us. Yeah, definitely. Relays are very, very important. Uh, you guys are up there in Fort Collins. You know, when you think of Colorado swimming, everybody thinks of kind of the Denver area where all, you know, the big city is where um, all the swimming comes from. What is the swimming culture like in Fort Collins? Um, well, we have our big swim program is FAST, the Fort Collins area swim team. Um, and they got a new coach this year who has really kind of changed the culture um, and is doing a really, really nice job with those kids. And I think that it's just building the, the swimming population here. And then we got a lot of attention after winning last year and had more kids come out for swimming. You know, one of the other things is the, the summer teams for, for mm -hmm. little kids are, are pretty big here. We have a lot of neighborhood pools. And so that really helps us get kids interested in swimming. Um, and then, like Carolyn said, we have a lot of kids who, who come to Fossil Ridge and They've been thinking about joining the high school swim team for five years already, and so um, they're excited about it. Rihanna, tell us about your swimming background. How long have you been a competitive swimmer? Um, I started fast when I was seven, so I've been on fast for 10 years. 10 years, that's really a long time to be with, with one swim team. Um, when you started as a freshman, did you ever make it a goal to be a state champion? Did you ever believe that was going to be possible? Um, on sophomore year on my goal sheet, my end of high school swimming career goal was to be a state champion either the 50 or the 100, so well, that was you, a big goal. <laughs> you did it twice and you just might do it again. <laughs> well, I, I want to talk briefly about Missy Franklin because her participation in high school swimming uh, this season has gotten so much press. I want to kind of get each of your thoughts on, um, on her swimming in the meet this weekend. For me, I think it's it's great. Um, I have a lot of respect for her for turning down all the endorsements and, and doing what she had set her mind to do. Um, and I think it's great because our our state swim meet is getting a whole lot more attention than it probably would if she were wasn't in it. And um, it's it's giving a whole lot of positive attention to the sport in general. Yes. Oh, I agree. I think it's definitely positive. It's going to make the meet a lot more exciting and see some fast swims so that'll be really cool yeah I don't I, I don't have any issues with it at all I think it's exactly what she should be doing I think the the criticism from people um, is is not it's kind of unjust you know why, why would we want to exclude somebody who who really is doing what every kid wants to do um, and yeah, so I'm excited to have her be there and, and I absolutely think she has earned it and deserves it and, and it'll be good to see. Rianne, I would imagine you breathed a little bit of sigh of relief when you saw that she wasn't going to be swimming in your events though. Um, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I mean, come on. She swam the 100 free at the Olympics. You probably were like, please, Missy, don't do this 100 free. <laughs> but yeah, that's very understandable. Um, Rihanna, do you have any uh, plans to continue your swimming career in college? Um, I'm actually going to be doing track. She signed her letter of intent to go to the University of Utah today. Very, very nice. Congratulations. I didn't know you were also a runner. Uh, have, you, have you been doing that consistently along with swimming? Um, I just started two years Ago. Ree's probably not going to tell you this, but she was also a state champion in the 400 meter uh, run at the track meet last year. Wow, that 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 shows talent. That is real talent to be able because I can't run from here to the door without tripping over myself. So <laughs> you know, swimmers are, are very clumsy people. So it's it's a big testament to yourself that you've been able to do that. And um, the track season is in this spring, correct? Yeah, so just a couple weeks away. Okay, so you got that coming up. It must be pretty exciting to, to be able to continue your athletic um, high school career after this weekend. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. Well, good. Well, good luck with that for you. Um, just kind of before we before we close out, I mean, do you guys, you know, you, you've got Rihanna closing out the year with you. You've got a couple other seniors um, ending their careers this year. Have you thought about what it's going to take 
next year to continue this this winning cycle? We're pretty focused on this weekend and, and, and coaching our kids up for this weekend. So whatever we get as freshmen next year is what we get, um, and we'll go from there. That's a very good mindset, Carolyn. Thank you guys for joining us. I appreciate you taking the time to talk. Good luck this weekend. We'll all be watching. Obviously, you know, everybody's going to be having their eyes on Missy, but us, everyone here at Swimming World is going to be keeping an eye on those point totals as you guys will be. Thank you. All right, Thank thanks. You. All right, so that is head coach Caroline Fries and swimmer Rihanna Williams and assistant coach Mark Morehouse joining us from Fossil Ridge. And that's going to do it for today's morning swim show. Be sure to keep up with all the swimming news by visiting swimmingworld.com or following us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.